is there any news? I tried ringing all the mates. I even tried the hospitals. Hospitals? In case something had happened to her. Do you think I should try the police? Oh, I wouldn't get them involved, love. Well, not yet, any road. Oh, he's absolutely fine. He's still asleep. Mm. He's usually been awake for two hours by now, at least. Oh, well, even at this age, you know, they pick up on things, stress, worry and that. Poor little mite's tied out with it. Then why didn't I notice, eh? I could have done more. I know I could. Oh, Chesney. You were at the end of your tether, too. You still are. Hi, mate. Hiya. Is Faye all right? Reckons everyone's blaming her for Katie running off. Eh? There's only one person to blame for that, and it's not fair. Yeah, diplomatic service missed out big time when Owen became a builder. Mm. Hey, Katie, we're back this morning. You'll see. What if she isn't? Hey, she loves you. And him. Um, Mum's right. Well, thanks for looking after him, Anna. Why don't I keep him for a bit? I'm off today. No, you've done enough, honestly. Oh, Chesney, you and Katie got into this state because you didn't ask for help. Now it's being offered, take it. So, I can't go to the market, though. What if she turns up and wants to see us? Listen, I'll look after the store for you, yeah? Like Mum says, you look like you could sleep for a week. So, mate. About time. Oh, I'm sorry. I get so used to you banging around downstairs, I didn't realise you were knocking. Uh, Amy, ready for school? Yeah, nearly. Amy, your daddy's here! Um. While we're waiting, uh, you're half of the mortgage. What? Well, despite what you might think, I'm not a charity, so uh, next week will do. How am I supposed to get the money? Why don't you get off your backside and find yourself a job? Hey, up. Someone got lucky last night. Yeah, she certainly did. Oh, please, I'm having my breakfast. So, who was she? I had some lass who came to the garage yesterday. Lust at first sight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was all right and all. Are you going to see her again? Nah. <laughs> Does she know that? Nah, probably not. Thought you were after seeing her. We've done, mate. She had a chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Interrupting. Well, don't stop on my account. That was just a bit of banter. All oh, right. Hmm. You want a coffee? No, thanks. A taste in perfumes about as good as a taste in men. Honestly, it's like one of them wildlife programmes. And here we see the mating ritual of a lesser spotted Duckworth. <laughs> Thought it was supposed to be out with you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Tommy, you can't resist a pretty face. And what were you doing while the master was at work? Well, she had a mate with her, you know, so he was all just talking. Oh, I see. He needed a wingman, didn't he, you know, someone to wear... Well, I know what a wingman does, Tyrone. Someone who occupies a mate while the super stud struts his stuff. Well, not you make it sound. Well, if it's all a bit of harmless banter and that's the end of it, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Except it wasn't the end. Was it? What? I saw you with her in the street. Yeah, well, I just walked to the cab office. Plenty of dark corners around there for a quick snog. No, I wouldn't. You know I wouldn't. You said you didn't mind me going out with Tommy and that's all I did. I just... Tommy... Keep away from me. Anna, Gary said you were here. Uh, yeah, I was just getting him out of the house for a bit. Any news on Katie? No. Chesney's beside himself. We worry the poor lad. Is Joseph OK? It's fine. I don't know. She behaves like this and wonders why people question her ability to look after a baby. But not people, Owen, you. What, you think it's all right that she disappears, leaving him with a little kid and then he burns the house down? The last thing Katie needed was you going off on one, threatening to take Joseph off her. She's not responsible, love. She's a teenage girl, stressed to why, Evan. What's your excuse? What? You know, it's like with Faye. Someone upsets you, 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 you lash out with your fist or your tongue. <laughs> why are you making this about me? Owen, most of the time, you know, you're a lovely, lovely man. But sometimes your mask slips and there's a right nasty piece of work in front of me. Huh. That's how you feel. Yeah, um, Chaz, is he here? 
Katie's wrong. Is she okay? She says so. She wants me to go meet her. Well, why not me? Oh, I'm only telling you what she said. Where are you meeting her? Oh, she made me promise not to say. I'm going out of my mind here. Does she not realise that? She feels terrible about what's happened. That's why she can't face you. Oh, tell her no one's cross with her. We just want to help. I want to come with you. No, I promised. Well, get her to ring me then, yeah? I'll try. You look how I feel. Yeah? Things no better with Steve then, no? He's threatening to throw me out the house unless I pay half the mortgage. He can't, can he? I need a job, just in case. Yeah, well, I could offer you a few hours here if you like. Oh, thank you. That'd be great. On one condition. You name it. You're not exactly known for your tact, are you? You know, the punters have to feel like they've got a mate taking the bets from them, yeah? Somebody who's almost sorry to be parting them from the cash, yes? Piece of cake. They won't have a clue what morons I think they are throwing the hard-earned cash down the drain. Hiya! Just thought I'd warn you, I'm gonna drop in on Steve after work and remind him what a real woman is. You can't seriously think that Steve's gonna be interested in you. Well, why are you worried, Trace? You were bad-mouthing yourself a bit earlier, weren't you? Because I don't want this lowlife telling me she's a better catch than I am. Hey! Who you calling a lowlife, you snotty mare? All right, all right, all right, that's enough, both of you stop. Look, um, no, forget that job. Peter! Look, all it'd take is a punter to say one wrong word and you'd be on them like an attack dog. Are you serious? Yes, I've got enough on my plate at the moment without having to worry about you. Come on, I'm sorry, out. Oh. Go on. Go. About as good at keeping jobs as you are at keeping husbands. <laughs> Where have you been all night? At mates. Who? How's Joseph? Anna had him last night, but he's missing his mum. How to help that? Oh, everyone's worried sick, especially Chez. Have you told him you were coming? He promised not to follow. He wants you to ring him, though. I don't know what to say. I don't deserve him. He doesn't think that. He's desperate for you to come home. I wish I could. I miss him and Joseph so much. So what's stopping you? You don't know what it's like. Nobody does. He doesn't sleep. He cries and he grizzles all the time. And I, I just don't know what to do with him. And you're the only new mum who's ever felt like that? You bet everybody else copes to get through it. I'm not fit to look after him. Dad's right. No, he ain't. He didn't want me to have a baby in the first place. Everyone thought I was stupid and I am. It's the biggest mistake of life, is he? And I just don't know what to do. Oh. Which I'm not happy about. Oh, wait, yeah, the tea break finished two minutes ago. Come on. Sorry, Mr. Foster. Where's Izzy? Uh, Mrs. Kanna gave her the afternoon off. Oh, well, it must have been important, seeing as we're trying to get a vital order out. It was. Peter, can I help you? Only by dropping dead. Something wrong? Uh, no, no. I just wondered if you could pick Sai up from school. deirdre has got an extra shift at work, and I've got the uh, I've got the accountant coming. So, don't let me stop you. Look, if uh, if it's a problem. Then... Actually, while you're both here, maybe you'd like to reconsider my offer of buying you out. Give you a lot more time to play happy families. I don't even like breathing the same air as your friends. So doing something that would actually please you. It's not going to happen. Just get me calm. Do you know what I can't get out of my head? Mum? Well, you don't even remember her. Yeah, but Dad always told us what happened. She resented us. We got in the way of having a good time. I don't think it was as simple as that. She couldn't cope, so she ran off. How simple do you want it? What she couldn't cope with was having a disabled kid. Yeah, but I'm taking after her, aren't I? Yesterday, all I wanted to do was go and get away and never come back. You're nothing like her. She had loads of support, everything. She was still too much for her. You're in this mess because you wouldn't ask for help. Wouldn't admit you were struggling. Yeah, but it doesn't help that when times got tough, I ran. I couldn't hack it, as Dad would say. Forget about Dad. It's Ches and Joseph you should be worrying about. Yeah, but you know what he's like. It'll be on my case every second of every day. 
I don't think I can go back, is it? Of course you can. What else are you going to do, eh? Tell Chaz I'm sorry, yeah? Katie! Katie, don't be silly, Katie! Do you think you should buy her something? Like as an apology? She likes chocolate. No way. Because then she'd accuse you of trying to make her fat. And then you wouldn't fancy her. And then you'd go off with other girls. What? Mm hmm. At least with a car you get a manual. Yeah. Oh, there she is. I'll make myself guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, about yesterday, nothing happened. You can ask Tommy. Peace offering. Sir? So? It's from moustache. <laughs> eh? Hey? We've got a stash of chocolate. I have cravings, it's almost mandatory. Middle of the night, as soon as you've gone out or come to the loo. <laughs> you sly devil. <laughs> oh, well, we can blame it on the baby. Totally. <laughs> Listen up, about earlier. I'm sorry. No, you were right. I shouldn't have gone out. My ex, Dominic, he'd say he was going out with his mates. He wasn't. Everyone knew what he was like except for me, so... Don't worry. We don't. Clean slate, right? From now on, we both trust each other. Deal. <laughs> Except for chocolate. <laughs> oh, Tina. Have I upset you? Mm, no. Why? Just this morning you seemed a bit funny with me. Again? No. Fine. Right. Well, look, if if I have, can I buy you a? Oh yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. I was just, um, just passing. I tried texting you, but the number you gave me, it, it didn't work. Really? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hi, I'm Tina. I live with Tommy. As in, we, we share a flat? Yeah. Right. <laughs> OK. Oh, no. Sorry. So was that the number you gave me, or...? Oh! <laughs> Look, you've got the, uh, the one and the nine the, the wrong way around. Right. <laughs> I was just wondering if you, um... If you fancy going for a drink sometime. Sure. Sure. Cool. Um, tomorrow night? Come to the Rovers. I work there. Right there. Right. OK. Well, I'll see you then. Yeah. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. See ya. You gave her the wrong number. I'm just surprised you gave her your real name. No, don't get used to it. Any tips? Make sure you pick the right kid. That's oh. a good one. <laughs> oh, here he is. Where's my dad? Well, he asked me to come and pick you up. I'm not going with you. Get off me! Everything all right? I'm not going with her. She's not my mum. Peter asked me to collect him. You're not on the list of approved. You know who I am. Uh, but even so, uh, school policy. Listen, if you've got a problem, take it up with Peter, honestly. I want my dad. Yes, I'm taking you to him. He could stop at after school club and tell no, Peter. No, it's really okay. Simon, come on, stop showing me up. I want my dad. Right, here you go. Can I go to Grandma Deirdre's and have some proper food? Hey, that is proper food. Grandad says you don't get proper food out the microwave. No, oh, Grandad didn't write about everything, sweetheart. Yes, he does. Grandma says he's a proper know-it-all. That means he knows everything. Yeah, well, Daddy's got the real cooker. And he won't let us use it. I'll make you something nice tomorrow, Angel. So, you got a job yet? Oh, well, I would have done if it wasn't for that troll you used to go out with. Who are you on about? Uh, Beth. Why was she done? Peter had offered me a job until she started winding me up. She reckons you've got the hots for her. My heck. Well, she is planning a reunion downstairs. I don't think so. Anyway, if your own brother won't even give you a job, then you've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, no, we've got a problem. Unless you increase my maintenance to cover the mortgage, that is. What, you want me to pay you to pay me? In a word, yeah. Here you go, buddy. This will make a welcome change. Oh, yeah? You giving me money, 200 quid. That's, uh, it's not a stamp, mate. Yeah, you took the bet yourself, yesterday. 
You know, Carla came in the shop and she was kicking off about Frank. You had the slip in your hand, you took me money, but obviously you didn't stamp it. Well, that's up to you to check. I don't have a copy. Oh, Peter, you must remember, mate, we even had a conversation about why I were in your shop. Look, I can't pay out if it's not stamped, Carl. What can I say? There you go. Oh, no, not again. What's, uh, what's going on? Oh, ask him. You made a right show of me in front of the headmaster, all the other parents. You said you'd pick me up. Yes, well, I was busy. I don't want her to come for me. I don't even like her. Nick, are you serious about not paying up? Uh, yes, I'm serious. You'll regret this battle. Big time. Right. Let's get to the bottom of this, then, shall we? It's all you've been in. Not since lunchtime. Oh. I'll get this. What? Mm -hmm. Kylie, David's wife. I was in the salon yesterday. I reckon you've spent all your money on flowers. Oh, right, yeah. Things didn't go as well as I hoped. David's wife. Shouldn't you be throwing drinks over me rather than buying them? <laughs> well, consider it a thank you. I'm not public enemy number one anymore. Oh, I can imagine being Gail's daughter-in-law. It can be kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm ashamed to say that all the stories you've heard about me are actually true. No wonder David kicked off. Yeah, but in my defence, I could have taken Audrey for every penny she had and didn't. Why not? Well, the same reason I came back, and for the flowers, I do really rather care for her. Any movement on the Tommy front? Oh, yes. Her name's Jodie, and her surname's One Night Stand. If that's the way you want to treat women, I'm better off out of it. You know you don't mean that. When we were living with Tyrone, everything was fine before Kirsty turned up. She hated me. <laughs> Two women under the same roof who don't get on. Mm, World War Three is just a borrowed lipstick away. Tommy was dead supportive. Brave man. It can't be all that bad. Evening, Brian. A pint of liquid relaxation, please. Right. Bad day. Big mistake moving into the school's catchment area. Always on duty. Okay. Talking of which, Mrs. Platt. Hi. A word about Max's lunchbox. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, actually. Crisps, chocolate, a drink with more ease than a game of Scrabble. And your problem is... Uh, it's against school policy. Healthy food only. It's the cornerstone of my new initiative. If I give him carrots and lettuce, he'll not touch it. Well, it must be a middle ground. You can stuff your middle ground. He's my son. Well, if that's your attitude, I'm afraid there will be sanctions. Sanctions? Is Max causing trouble at school? No, he's very well behaved. So his dart isn't causing any adverse effects? Well, no, but... I think Mrs Platt will consider your policy, but giving her a lecture while standing there with a rather less than healthy drink in your hands does seem to me to be a bit rich. <clears throat> well, I think I've made my point, so we shall leave it at that, shall we? Fair enough? Absolutely, old man. <laughs> what? Thanks. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> she just doesn't think she can cope. Well, help her. I'll do anything, everything. You think I didn't tell her that? You should have convinced her. I'm sorry. I know it's not your fault. It's OK. So why didn't she come back? She can't face anyone. But I'm not anyone. Well, she misses you and Joseph. What if she's finding it that hard? Why didn't she just say something? Well, the first time any of us knew she was finding it tough, my dad goes off and mum wanted to take the baby off her. OK, yeah. I'm guilty as charged. Guilty of trying to help my daughter who's clearly out of her depth. I mean, what's wrong and I, eh? <sighs> I have just been drinking with the most gorgeous man. Don't get your hopes up, I'm not running off with him. Oh, does this heartthrob have a name? Lewis. That is not remotely funny, Carla. And I am not remotely joking. He's lovely. Why does it not surprise me that those two get on so well? Can somebody please explain what I'm missing here? He's sorry for all the things he did and wants to make it up to you. What's wrong with that? I risk being made a fool of all over again. And what's the alternative? She's hardly beating men off with a stick. Actually, I am quite content the way things are, thank you. Who are you kidding? When you're with a fella, you look and act ten years younger. There's a spring in your step, a twinkle in your eye and silk in your knicker drawer instead of thermals. That is no reason why she should let a con man, a proven liar, back into her life again. OK, Audrey. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Gail. Listen to your heart. And think where that's got you in the past, ma'am. Listen to your head. Pointing fingers isn't going to do any of us any good, is it? What we need to do is work out how we're going to get Katie to come home. I'm not. 
I'm not trying to upset anybody here, love. You don't usually have to try. Bottom line is, Katie now realises that the, the, the whole baby thing was a big mistake. Oh, I'm not listening to this. Now, you know I'm right, lad. Now, I still think the best idea is I, I get a nanny. <laughs> now, listen. And, and little Joseph here stays with me. Oh, Dad, not this again! That way, Katie can do what she always wants to do, which is go back to school, you know, be a teenager, whatever. Who the hell do you think you are? Katie's father! And I don't want her to ruin her life any more than she has done, all right? What about my life? Joseph's? I don't want him being brought up by some stranger and an old man, neither does Katie! I'll look after him until Katie comes back. Yeah, well, you've already shown you can't manage that. I mean, that's why she ran away. Katie ran away because of you. And she won't come back because of you, Owens. Dad, she told me. She can't bear you watching her, judging her. I'm trying to help here! You don't want to help. You want to control. Yeah. Take a good look at him. Because it's the last time that you're going to be this close to him. We don't want you in our lives. Not me, not Joseph, and not Katie. Get out of my way. Just calm down, all right? Please. I am calm. And I'm deadly serious. You're a police officer? No, I'm a hostage negotiator. They had a British Hindu family held captive. These two kidnappers and the son is on board. That's all very good, but I am in I'm charge. I'm trying to help you. you Get off my square! Me. Dominic King is back. The new series of Kidnap and Ransom is next.